everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my beautiful people really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one we've got is coming from River State. Very, very interesting. You know, when you hear River State, what comes to mind first is the governor of the state, Governor Neison Wiki, a no-nonsense governor, very outspoken governor, the one that doesn't, um, he, in his own words, that he doesn't take orders from Abuja. That is the governor we're talking about. Right now, he has um, done something very, it's commendable. I really wish other governors can follow suit. You know, he's one of the governors that have been criticized a lot. Um, sometimes that his actions, they are too harsh. You know, during the first phase of the lockdown, the, the kind of actions he took, the enforcement of the lockdown, some, there were some times that he went out personally himself to enforce the lockdown. And um, even the saga that went down with um, ExxonMobil staff that he held that he said they violated um, the lockdown and all of that. So this governor is a no-nonsense governor. We know him very well. If he says something, he does it. And he believes that um, he's so confident, you know, being the opposition party, always criticizing and pointing out um, flaws in the APC-led administration. I know he celebrated as well. Some person celebrates him as well, but he's also criticized as well. Right now, what he has done is very, very, it's remarkable. I know some persons will, will also attack him for this. Rivers Tax Force sack 11 operatives for collecting bribes. Yes, that is a good one. You know, this corruption we're talking about, it has to end at all levels. You know, the tax force, their duty is to just go on and collect the revenue, what they need to do, and nothing more, the exact amount and everything they need to do nothing more than that you know regarding um there was even it was um towards the end of last year that Naysom Wiki stated that um he was going to demolish the illegal structures that are causing a lot of uh, um havoc around the road illegal trading uh um parks and motor parks and all of that most probably some persons felt they were very smart and before those places will be demolished they can just quickly collect bribes and all of that this thing should work with our nigerian police force as well it should they should be sacked as well do you know guys the 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 information we got is that the policemen that are on the road collecting bribes they are not just doing it for themselves they get they have a set they have targets they are like bankers yes they have target, they are like bankers, they are, they are superiors giving them target as you are going out today, this is what you will bring. And if you don't bring it, you get in trouble. That's why you see that anytime we, you, you come across the police, they are so hostile that they are not ready. What led to the end police brutality, if we trace it very well, it's, it's all of this action and it's unbelievable. So that's why I said that what Wiki just did is very commendable. If bribe can leave our community, leave our society, especially within government officials, the police force, we will see a better community. Life will get better. Anyway, guys, let's find out more as to what went down and the action, all the actions that um, the River State Governor has taken. But before we carry on, my beautiful people, please, guys, don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Thank you once again. 11 operatives of the newly formed Rivers Tax Force on illegal trading and motor parks were sacked on Thursday for collecting bribes from members of the public around Choba area in Obio Akbo, local government area of the state. The tax force members were sacked barely five days after the tax force recommenced operation. Coordinator of the tax force DSP Felis one DBA retired who disclosed this report in Portacot said they were sacked based on reports and verifiable evidence of misconduct despite several warnings before the commencement of the new exercise. He also said the sacking will serve as a deterrent to other members of the tax force who want to indulge in such acts. He expressed satisfaction as the level of performance of the tax force members so far pointing to the level of achievements so far recorded on the free flow of traffic on the roads in Port Harcourt. DSP 
Wandibe further called on the general public to report any member of the task force to the authority if found wanting. It will be recalled that the governor, Governor Naysom Wike, disbanded the previous task force headed by Bright and Mehule based on public outcry over allegations of extortion, abuse of human rights, and alleged killing of innocent members due to high headedness of the operatives. This one is commendable. I don't think um, Governor Wike has um, done anything wrong in this one. It's something that is worth emulating. You know, 11 operative, they've only just started work. It's so, <laughs> see the way, it, well, I, I don't know if it's hardship, guys. I really don't know what to call it. If it's hardship that has led this tax force operative to take this route. They've only just been given the mandate to do the job. You know, the illegal structures and all of that. Put order, bring order. You know, the, the hold up between that Choba area. And uh, the governor has looked at it that what is really causing this hold up is as a result of the way this place is structured. Let's remove some illegal motor parks. Let's remove some illegal trading, um, those people trading along the road. And let there be free flow of traffic set up this tax force. And just five days into their role, they started collecting bribes. And uh, um, they were caught. They were caught with evidences as a result of that. Not one, not two. You can imagine how many of them are corrupt. That's why I'm saying that this thing, it should go into the police force because the way police collect bribes as well, many innocent people have lost their life. We've had several cases of a policeman shooting a Okada rider or Kekena Peb rider just because of 50 Naira. Just because they want to get 50 Naira as bribe. As sad. If this bribe, this thing, what about government offices? Let's not even attack police alone. You get into a, a government office, you want a document, you want something. They, the way they respond to you as though um, you, you owe them something. As though it's not their duty to, to get what you want. That you must wet their hand first. It's so sad. So this one is really commendable. I, to me, that's what I feel. But if you feel any different, feel free to let us know down below in the comment section. And um, the governor stated that what he has just done and he's made it public that this will serve as a deterrent. And also he put the notice out there to members, to everyone, members of the public. If anyone is, if you find anyone wanting, you know what? The age where we are now, it makes things even easier. You record or anything. Just capture any form of evidence you can and pass it over. Interesting. My people, thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.